What's up guys, this is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between two iPhone 6s's. One is running iOS 9, which was the iPhone 6s's first iOS firmware that it launched with all the way back in 2015. And the other iPhone 6s is on iOS 15, which is the latest iOS version. So with this video, I want to find out if the iPhone 6s has gotten faster, slower, or if it performs about the same all these years later after several years of software updates by again comparing the first iOS version that the 6s shipped with to the latest iOS version that it supports being iOS 15. And in addition to doing some tests with the default stock iPhone applications, we're also going to be running some tests with some App Store applications. The versions of these apps that are installed on the iOS 9 iPhone 6s are the versions from the same time that this version of iOS 9 was out. This iPhone 6s is running iOS 9.3.2, which was really Released in the spring of 2016. So I actually went out and installed the versions of, again, these five apps from that time period. And they're not sideloaded or installed unofficially, they're installed 100% properly. I did have to go through some pretty crazy workarounds to get these applications installed, but I really wanted to do this because my goal with this device was to recreate an iPhone 6s that was taken straight from 2016 and bring it into 2022 and compare it again with the very same iPhone model, just with the latest iPhone iOS version being iOS 15, and all the latest versions of these apps, and that's what's running on the iPhone 6s on the right. So without any further ado, an iPhone 6s pulled straight from 2016 with a 2016 iOS version and 2016 apps, compared with an iPhone 6s in 2022 with a 2022 iOS and 2022 apps side by side in a speed test. Let's get started. And I just wanted to quickly mention that both devices are running at their peak performance capability. You can see that is the case on the iOS 15 iPhone 6s and the iOS 9 6s is also running at peak performance capability and I know this for a fact because Apple didn't even add the performance management features for battery health until a much later version of iOS. So let's kick things off with some stock default application launching tests. So kicking things off here, as you can see both of these iPhone 6s's are performing pretty similarly to each other here. Occasionally one of these devices will open an application you know a split second faster but for the most part here as you can see basically the same, which is pretty impressive when you consider that the iPhone 6s is on its seventh major iOS update. I think the fact that the iPhone 6s on iOS 15 opens up some of these applications even just a split second faster than the iPhone 6s on iOS 9, its original firmware, is just very impressive. And for some of the web-based applications like the App Store, podcasts, and music, the iOS 15 iPhone 6s is a little bit noticeably behind the iOS 9 iPhone 6s. And you should definitely keep in mind that it's probably because these applications have just gotten more complex over the years. For example, the homepage of the App Store on iOS 15 just has a lot more information on it in comparison to iOS 9. So, of course, a lot of these applications, you know, basically seven years later have changed quite a bit, so it's almost as if it's a completely different application. But again, the point of this video is really just to kind of get that context of, you know, opening up the same application, even if it has changed a lot all these years later on the same device. And again, just seeing how the performance of the iPhone 6s was on its original iOS version being iOS 9 versus the latest iOS version that it supports being iOS 15. But once again, all in all, pretty much comparable performance here, really not much of a difference at all. With the iPhone 6s on iOS 15 opening up a bunch of the smaller applications a split second faster than the iPhone 6s on iOS 9, which again is super impressive. And I also want to quickly run a consecutive app launching test with the same set of applications that we just launched, but we're going to be doing them consecutively one after the next on both of these devices and showing them side by side doing this to show any speed difference when trying to open and close these applications in fast succession. So with both app switchers cleared, we're going to go ahead and kick things off here. The first thing I noticed was the animations on newer versions of iOS are a lot snappier and quicker. Not only are the open and close animations quicker, but also after you close an application, you're able to quickly launch another app on recent versions of iOS while, you know, on earlier versions like iOS 9 here. Here, there's a little bit of a delay there where you're not able to get into the next app after closing the one that you're currently in. And again, this isn't a huge deal as you're probably not going to be cycling between applications this rapidly in day-to-day -day life, but definitely a noticeable change in the physics of the animations. Now that being said, the iOS 9 6s did pull ahead in the test with, again, some of those web-based applications, as we mentioned earlier, because, you know, they're a lot less complex back in the day. So overall, once again, similar performance here, but those improved animations definitely speed up the process of, you know, 
switching between applications in a fast succession. And next, let's do some app launching tests with some App Store applications. And once again, as I mentioned earlier, you should definitely keep in mind that these applications on the iOS 9 iPhone 6s are the applications from 2016. So you should definitely keep in mind that these applications, a lot of them at least, are you know definitely much simpler than the current version of these apps. So many features have been added. So kicking things off here, as you can see in this test, the iOS 9 iPhone 6s with again the applications from the iOS 9 era were quicker in every single instance. Now this being said, it was only a few seconds difference even for some of the heavier applications that we tested, but it was definitely noticeably quicker. And by the way, as you can see on the iOS 9 6s, the old version of Amazon is no longer supported, so it actually redirects to amazon.com on Safari, but it still kind of gave us an idea of how long it took for the application's interface to open. But anyways, after a few years of owning your iPhone, if you ever find yourself thinking that your iPhone felt faster, you know, the first year that you bought it versus now several years later, chances are that that's true. A lot of applications do continue to get more and more complex as time goes on. You know, that's not the case with every app, but a lot of apps that does happen. And in terms of new iOS updates having an impact on the speed of your device, it's really just hard to tell with App Store applications in a test like this, because once again, the applications we're testing are several years old on the iOS 9 device. All I really can tell you is, again, back in the day, you know, using the applications that were available at the time versus the new version of those applications on the newest software. At least with these applications that we're testing on the iPhone 6s, it does appear that it was faster back then. And for those of you wondering why I'm not using the latest version of these applications on both devices here, not only do they not support older versions of iOS like iOS 9, but also that's not really what I was going for in this video. Again, I wanted to recreate an iPhone that was literally from 2016 with all 2016 software from the iOS on the device to the applications on the device. And next, we're going to compare the speed of using Touch ID on these two devices. And as you can see here, both blazing fast, basically imperceivable difference here, maybe a fraction of a second quicker on the iOS 15 6s. And lastly, we're going to run a web page loading test in Safari. And of course, you should definitely keep in mind that tests like this largely depend on the internet connection that you're using. And of course, you should also keep in mind that we're loading, of course, web pages from 2022 on both of these devices. So it's impossible to really test how iOS 9 would have run with these web pages in 2016 when iOS 9 was the latest version for the 6S. But loading the current versions of all these websites on both of these devices, as you can see, basically similar comparable results yet again. Any difference is negligible, I'd say. And really nothing to complain about on either. Occasionally one will, you know, be a fraction of a second quicker than the other one. But again, nothing that you'd notice in day to day life. And in terms of scrolling speed on both, it's quite snappy and responsive. However, as you can see here, the physics of the scrolling on recent versions of iOS is quite different than it was on earlier versions of iOS. Swiping at the same speed on the screen will scroll a lot faster and through a lot more of the page on recent versions of iOS, where on previous versions, you'd have to scroll, you know, multiple times to kind of get through the same distance. And kind of going back to what I mentioned earlier, as you can see here, the iOS 9 6s is improperly loading portions of this page. As you can see, there's text overlapping. As again, this is a 2022 website that's not really designed for an old version of the Safari browser like this. But there you guys have it. Overall, I came away from this test quite impressed with the iPhone 6s on iOS 15. Apple has done a great job maintaining this device and keeping it basically at the same level of performance that it was originally all the way back when the phone first launched in 2015. Especially when you compare how software updates used to negatively affect older iPhones, the iPhone 6s has been very well maintained over the years. But anyways, if you guys use an iPhone 6s, let me know down below in the comment section how the speed and performance is for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, but something that I personally find interesting doing this type of comparison kind of over the years, seeing again how performance is maintained on iPhone hardware. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.